Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into how to record, edit, and export high quality tutorial videos using Wondershare Filmora. Whether you're creating short form content for Instagram or long form tutorials for YouTube, this step-by-step -step guide will cover everything you need to know. So make sure to watch until the end to catch all the tips and tricks. When you first open Filmora, you'll be greeted by the startup window, which highlights its most prominent features. This makes it super easy to jump right into video creation. Among the many features available, you'll find AI text-to-video, AI text-based editing, silent detection, and much more. There's a lot to explore, so let's get started. First, we'll choose a screen ratio. For YouTube videos, the 16:9 ratio is ideal. For vertical short-form content like Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, go with the 9:16 ratio. Now that we've set up our project for vertical content, it's time to record. Open the software you want to make a tutorial for. Since I create Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator tutorials, I'll open Illustrator and select the new file option. Next, go to Mobile Document Presets, click on View All Presets, and choose the Google Pixels 1080 by 1920 ratio document. Hit Create. Minimize the screen and adjust it until it fits on the artboard. Once you've set up Illustrator, open Filmora and click on Record. Select Record PC screen. Filmora will automatically minimize and bring up the recorder. Adjust the green rectangle to fit the Adobe Illustrator screen for vertical recording. You can also choose to record your mic system audio and webcam while recording the screen. Once you're ready, hit the record button. The recording will start after a three second countdown. While recording, you can go ahead and work on your tutorial. Once you finish, press F9 to stop the recording. This will bring you back to the main project interface where your recorded video is automatically imported. Drag the recorded video to the timeline to see it in the preview window and start editing. Keep the project settings on the pre-created ratio. You can also import other media from your computer like background music and images. When you drag these media files to the timeline, audio content will appear in audio tracks showing waveforms over time. Visual content will be in video tracks, complete with thumbnails and sound waveforms if your videos include audio. If you want an image to appear throughout the entire video, stretch it fully along the timeline. Adjust the icon and place it where you need it. Click and drag on the timeline to zoom in and out and move through time using your mouse wheel while holding down the Alt or Shift key. The video preview in the top right corner shows the timeline content where the red marker is placed. Click on the timeline or drag the marker to check different frames as needed. You can also press J for reverse playback, K to pause, and L to play forward. Next, we'll make cuts to remove any extra parts of the video. Drag the red marker to where you need to cut. For example, if there's a part you don't want in your video, place the marker on the timeline and click the scissor icon, or press Ctrl B to split. Click on the split part and hit the delete button, then click on the empty space and click the cross button to remove the space completely, so the other clips will fill in. After removing the unwanted parts, it's time to adjust the speed of the video. To add speed to any clip, right click, go to speed and select Show Speed Controls. Click and hold the right top corner of the clip and drag it to the left to increase the speed as needed. Next, we'll add background music. To add music, go to the Audio tab and then to the Music section. Here you can find different categories of music such as Lofi, Travel, Podcast, and Intro Music. Choose any category you like and click download to add it to your timeline. You can click the plus icon or just drag it to the music timeline. 
You can also add sound effects from this audio section, like the whoosh sound effect, keyboard typing effect, or camera shutter effect. Filmora 13 even allows you to create your own music using its AI feature, which combines any genre, mode, or theme to generate music. This feature costs some credits depending on your license. Besides music, Filmora also lets you create voiceovers with its text-to-speech feature. You can input your own script or generate it with AI. Select your language and choose a voice, like the educational voice. Click Try Free, and it will generate the voice and add it to the project media from where you can add it to your timeline. In the next step, we'll add a background image to the video. For that, go to Stock Media, then Library, and select Gradient Color. I'll select this purple gradient image because it matches my brand theme. Click the Download button, and once it's downloaded, add it to the timeline. Adjust the image in the project and place it below the video timeline. Make sure to leave some space on both sides of the project so it doesn't get cut off on any mobile device. After following all these steps, it's time to export the video. Go to Export, change the resolution from 1080 to 2160 and from 1920 to 3840. Also change the FPS to 60 and hit export. Here's a preview of the short or reel of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial we've created. Now let's see how we can record a long YouTube tutorial video. For this, we'll set the screen ratio to 16:9 widescreen. For the long video, I'll open Photoshop to record. Once you have Photoshop open and set up, open Filmora, click on Record, and select Record PC screen. A blue rectangular border will appear on the Photoshop screen. Make any necessary adjustments then hit the record button and start working in Photoshop. When you finish recording the tutorial, press F9 to stop the recording. It will automatically stop and import the recording into the project media folder. You can then drag the recording to the timeline and start editing it in Filmora, just like we did with the short video. That's all for this video. Make sure to check out the Filmora website link in the description. Thanks for watching.